been aggressive over the last few maps that we've seen. Even was the same when I saw him at DreamHack Summer. So I think he can open things up. I think Shush has been playing well today. But just on this T side, you've got players like Woxic. You've got players like Rops just performing day in, day out. And I, I don't think there's much they can really do to cope with that. Like, it seemed like Akor was a fairly consistent AWPer. But... Woxic is more a complete orper. Like, he can hit ridiculous shots and do things that nobody else can do. It might be because he plays on a bajillion sensitivity, so some of the flicks he makes are physically impossible without going across a full two-meter mouse mat. But at the same time, his precision just seems to be on point. And, and, wow, he's just killing everyone. Like, what is... They, they will push him while he's in T-spawn. But yeah, th this has been impressive from mouse balls. This is more of what we expected to see earlier in the day, and... Oh, Tricked seem to not even join the server just yet. Like, Acor, one kill so far. He was someone highlighted on the desk as, like, someone who needed to step up with that AWP. And it, it has to be said, he's in a much tougher battle this time. Even still, though, Shush is uh, getting himself a few exit frags. Not really doing anything too valuable. And could even ace this round. Like... Close enough. Four kills for him, but ultimately the AWP is uh, still gone. You doing okay, Jason? Yep. Totally Bless right. you. Thank you. De nada. Middle countless times, and now they have the information that the B-side's going to be completely open, so they can rotate people back towards A to help out. Akor gets one onto Kerrigan, but Orange isn't able to hold on towards long, and Frozen gets a second. That's the op now out of his hands. And just expecting them. A bullet to the dome. And a second. Now Hunden all by himself up against three. And, yeah. These were the sort of plays that were saving mouse sports in a lot of the rounds that we saw in the match earlier. In this round, it's more that not everybody even died. He didn't need to pull off. I bet you the worst child going into shops and just licking all the food. I hope you feel good saying that. Call me a terrible child. How I dare do. you? I do. I think good. my mother would disagree. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Rops catches him out, trying to push through the smoke. Great awareness. Oh, you know, he wants it. Gets the first kill. Able to capitalize on the second, unfortunately. But still an expensive round for Mouse Sports. But they have a decent amount of money to spend in the bank, anyways. 10 to 3 for Mouse Sports. Are they starting to strut their stuff here on Dust2? Yeah, and this is looking a lot more calm, collective, and clinical from the T side. There, there really haven't been too many struggles. Uh, the a couple of rounds were a little bit closer, and if you looked purely on frags alone, top fragger, and this is actually just completely down older. the ramp exactly. towards CT spawn. That, that is exactly oh. the point. Like the the bomb is on the side of Mouse Sports. In fact. Bubsky's got to the point where he's just given up and gone, well, I'm just not going to cross anymore. I'm going back towards the B side, which he will be able to get to and should be able to get the bomb down. I'm so frozen on 15 HP. There's a good opportunity here for Bubsky to actually win this one. There's no one else I'd want in this scenario. Peeks out, takes down Frozen and turns it into the one versus one. Looking for the 3k while Chris wants one more than that, but Bubsky's going to clutch it out. He'll get them that all-important pistol and take a fourth round for Tricked. So you could say the bomb did roll in the right direction there. No. <laughs> no, no. I could have won that much more cleanly. Towards long, which is where it's viable, and he is going to get the pick. An important one of that, and with Woxic missing the shot onto the cross, they are going to be able to get into an after plant, and that's where the double orbs actually become viable again. Bob's going to get the first. Trying to play around the staircase to his advantage. Flashback comes in perfectly. Good job by Hunden to support. Now walks the last alive for I think the last three rounds in a row. But I don't think he's gonna escape this time unless he is able to out snipe Bubs. And there we go. Tricked getting one step closer to tying things up. Gonna be watching the push in from middle. He's gonna have an opportunity to hit a shot here. And he will connect. That's Shush going down. Leave the nade coming in, doing a little bit of damage here or there. The rotates coming back in from A. Looks like Mouseworks will finally be able to put a hold here. It's going to be on the B side. Walks it connects the shot. Able to hit the follow up though. Ooh. And Akora going to be able to win out the trade. But he still has three other players now. Two left to find. 13 seconds left to go. Mouseworks can play the clock here. Trying to fake it out with the first plant. Spots him Ooh. out. Takes out Frozen. Can he get the follow up? Oh. No. 
A core. Almost able to pull off the 4K and the round for tricks. At least makes it to manage one. He needs to do more than that. Shush still going strong with the P250, but Carrigan trades things back into a 2v2 once more. The CZ now picked up onto Shush with the P250 alongside it. Bullet spamming away, and Shush gets the kill, and it's left all onto Carrigan. Trying to bait them out into the peak. He does a lot of damage, finds the kill, but the trade should be there, however. Bobski just going to go running away. The smoke has to be thrown onto the bomb, and I don't think there's even enough time for Carrigan to actually do anything here. He'll get the final kill and then retreat back out of the round. Unfortunate for Mouseworks, they did get a lot of kills in that round, however. Shush on the outside play. Picked up the initial kill in the walks. So it well done by him, especially with the Glock from that position. Like, was it Get Raid and MBK that still use it? I think there's maybe one more person as well, but Chris J, who's been over at the A site at Ticket Booth before, has done punching tickets. He wants to punch lives. <laughs> don't ask. I don't know where I'm going with this one. But he gets another kill in this round and a third. Chris J. And Ooh. a fourth. Can he get the ace? Now oh, Roche is going to be able to come back in from Carrigan will go down. Molotov doesn't actually spread to his position, so Chris is going to have the opportunity to have a couple of shots rattled off. Romps comes in, his first death onto the board. But Woxic's still there to hold the cross. 20 seconds left for Acor to make his move. It's a double up of the defense. As they sit in the window, they do manage to get one kill, but does he expect the second player from the exact same spot? Yes, he does. And Acor's going to win them their first round. One kill before this and four kills in this round alone. I think that's what we kind of wanted to see, right? Not but Woxix here to help defend. Rose just managed to gain some ground at least, and Bob, he's going to find Chris. Peek through from Carrigan, achieves nothing, and well, the bomb is going to go down. It comes down to a retake from Frozen and Woxic, and they've got so much left to do. 20 seconds. Well, a little bit more, because they do have themselves the kit. Nice oh. shot from Woxic. will be able to hit Hunden as he looks to cross, and they're going to know that there's a player into the connector. They do expend a smoke on towards the bomb, and Woxic hits another shot, doing damage in this round. In fact, finishing off everything. The ace for Woxic to win them their eighth round. And it is just a star-studded performance across the board from Mouse Sports. Everybody just having a punch. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Harrigan pushing back up. Wants to redeem himself from the last round, I guess. And look at that. Nice double comes through. All of a sudden... Oops, he's the last alive. He's actually been able to flank around from T-Spawn. I don't think they're going to expect this. The bomb technically moving in this direction. He's going to spot it out. Gets the spread out. Gets the bomb down. 40 seconds left to go. Flashman to come in as Robs is looking to escape. And Bubs again. Bubs keep coming up big. 17-15. Last round of first side. We saw the same from Mouse Sports in the previous. Rops is sat ready and waiting already. Picks off the first, then they can't trade him out. He's just going ham. Four kills for Rops. Just owns them at the end. The ace from Rops. The Estonian just steps up and destroys the likes of Tricked. 38 kills to his name. 10 above anyone else in the whole server. Great flashbangs as well out of Woxic to help set him up. And we talked about Woxic. He's been relatively quiet since the initial first unreal. half, but... It's just unreal. Support play has been definitely coming up strong. And here we go into our double overtime for today.